Hey guys, Ham Solo here, Kilo Zero Fox Rod Yankee Romeo. Uh, this is actually kind of like at the end of the video. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do this at the beginning, but I am testing out a new antenna from MFJ, and this is the MFJ 2389. Uh, the first part that you'll see after this will be me uh, testing it on the side yard uh, using the IC705 at 10 watts. Uh, it is a multi-band antenna and it is a vertical. And uh, let me show it to you. This is it right behind my head. So it is a multi-element antenna and it can handle from 80 meters all the way up to UHF frequencies. And so let me turn the camera around and let you get a look at it. All right, so the good guys over at MFJ have uh, loaned me some equipment. Uh, this stand right here, I'll have to get the uh, the part number off of it, but it is a, uh, a telescoping type stand. Uh, usually extends in the neighborhood of about, let's say eight to 10 feet off the ground. And then attached to it is the MFJ 2389. And so it has multiple different radiating elements on it. It has multiple different radials on it. It does not require uh, any type of uh, counterpoise or, or any type of wire like that. Uh, basically, each one of these arms is a different uh, radiating uh, element or radiator. And uh, let me, uh, actually, the bottom ones are radials. The top ones are the radiators. And so on the top, there's a... a 28 megahertz or 10 meter there is a 50 megahertz 6 meter there is a 14 megahertz 20 meter and there is a 7 megahertz 40 meter the very very tip top the black part going up to the silver on the very top that's 80 meters and all of those are the radiators and then down here on the lower two sections there's two different bevel rings here that all that both have three elements on them. Uh, on this one, I have uh, looks like 20 meters, six meters, 12 meters. Uh, I think the 10 meter is right above my head. I can't see all the numbers from underneath. Uh, but like I said, this one does 80 meters HF frequencies all the way up. And then the whole thing itself is going to do the uh, 2 meter, 144 to 148 megahertz and the UHF. And I did all those. Uh, I did both of those yesterday. But basically, this is it. This is the antenna in a nutshell. From the silver part up is only about eight feet. And so if you wanted to put that in your attic, you could do that. Uh, I have it set on this stand. I think the biggest problem for me would be if I wanted to use this portable or transport it to a park, I basically have to remove or unscrew all of those radiators and, and elements uh, or it's not going to fit in the car like that. And then I'll have to disconnect it off the pole in order to move it around uh but uh you'll get to see in the video uh what it kind of sounds like on all the different bands so let's see if we can get to that this is kilo zero foxtrot yankee romeo on the mark repeater testing out a new antenna one two three four five can anybody come back with a radio check All right, appreciate that. Uh, this is a multi-band vertical antenna from MFJ, and it goes 80 meters all the way up to UHF. So I'm gonna switch over to the uh, UHF frequency and see if I can hit that as well. Roger that, sounds interesting. All right, this is K0FYR on the Mark repeater uh, calling in to the UHF side. One, two, three, four, five, radio check. Uh, you're coming in just as clear as you were on the 
VHF side there. Mike, uh, sounds really good. Zero MAP. All right, received. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, so VHF and UHF work good on that antenna. Uh, I've talked to somebody on uh, 20 meters, and I'm kind of just switching around in, uh, in all those bands uh, to see if I can pick somebody up. Uh, do you have the capability to do 10 meters? I do have the capability to do 10 meters. I have to be uh, jumping around seeing if I can chase any soda activation. So, yeah, if you want to go up to 10 meters, uh, give me a frequency and I'll see if I can hear you. Roger, Roger. I think I'm going to try 6 meters first. If, do you have the capability to do 6 meter? This is K0FYR on uh, 6 meters, 52.000, doing an antenna test, K0FYR. K0FYR on 6 meter, upper sideband, uh, 52.000, testing, any unit copy on uh, 6 meters. Yeah, I got you there, Dan. Uh, could you not do FM? Oh, Roger that. Yeah, I didn't notice you were on FM. Uh, let me switch over to that and see how you come in. Yeah, I got you, uh, Dan. It's a stronger voice, but a lot more static. This is K0FYR on uh, 10 meters. 28.300 upper sideband. K0 FYR testing. K0 FYR, K0 MAP. You're right down in the noise. There's nothing moving on the meter, but I think I hear you in there. This is K0 MAP. Roger, Roger. I got you real strong, Dan. I got you real strong. 15. Hello, CQ, CQ. Type this in. CQ 15 meter. Right here. The yeah, race. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo, QRP. QRP, QRP station, calling a bunch of times, QRP. I got a couple. The QRP station, I heard you last time. I apologize. I should have <laughs> picked you up. Uh, QRP station, give me the call. Yeah, it's Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee Romeo. Kilowatt Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo, stroke QRP. You're about 5 by 5, 55. Name is Mike. QTH is the Bethany Relay Voice of America Station, just north of Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh, yes. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. I get that right? Yeah, Roger, Roger. I was just testing out a new antenna and I saw your uh, signal on the uh, spectrum. I call in Divide, Colorado. Was that you? Roger, Roger. This is K0FYR on 3810 uh, doing an antenna test for a new antenna. K0FYR. K0FYR, KN0MAP. I know you're in there, Mike, uh, but you're sounding the same as like on uh, 10 meter. Uh, I know you're talking. I know it's you, but uh, barely hearing you over. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, you're really uh, clear, clear as a bell on on this frequency uh, with this antenna. Roger, I copied the Roger, Roger, but uh, beyond that, uh, like I said, uh, not very intelligible on the audio. But uh, like I said, I know you're there. So, and I, one of the things I've always wondered is it my setup on the receive side or if it is you. So never trust that I can't hear you. It could all be. So after the testing outside, I decided to uh, take the unit inside and hook it up to my 7300 so I can get 100 watts out of it. And so I uh, did that, set it all up. I'm using the MFJ949E Deluxe Versa manual tuner. And so uh, I had uh, other stuff already hooked up to my radio, so I had to do this direct to that antenna to make it work. This is Kilo Charlie 7, Romeo, Romeo, sure Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo. Kilo Zero, Foxtrot, Yankee, Romeo, QSL? Yeah, QSL. 
very good. I've got you at about a 5-3 in Terrazona tonight, 53. K0 FYR. Yeah, FYR, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I was uh, testing out an antenna, and uh, y'all are the uh, the strongest signal. I was going to see if you could hear. Well, we always like being the strongest signal. Uh, yeah, we uh, copy you good. I'm in, uh, uh, west of Wichita, Kansas, about uh, 300 miles east of uh, Pueblo. Name is Steve. And uh, Roger's down in Albuquerque. Go ahead, Roger. T zero uniform Oscar. Yeah, K four LDM station up here in Divide. I guess that's where you're at. Uh, you're good. Q five copy out here. What are you running? I'm doing a IC seventy three hundred barefoot, uh, but I have a MFJ. It's kind of like a vertical, multi band vertical antenna. Okay, real good. Uh, are you in Divide? And what's your name? Yes, sir. I'm in Divide, Colorado. Name is Mike. Mike India Kilo Echo. Okay, Mike. Very good. Well, you're uh, you're Q5 there, and the 7300 is good. I'm on the big brother to it. The uh, 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 7610. I think you said 7300. I see you have a uh, 705 on your uh, uh, QSL page. Hey, I love your QS, uh, QRZ page. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I appreciate it. I just picked up that 705 when I, uh, I I travel quite a bit and I do uh, summits and park activations while I'm out of state. All right, so I came in on uh, uh, trying to use, uh, and I know there's a little bit of a mess going on here. Uh, I realized when I came to use my 7300 that uh, when I was using the 7, 7300, uh, it was hooked up to this SWR meter and an LDG tuner up in the attic for my other antenna. So I had no other tuner to hook that uh, MFJ2389 to. And so again, I took out uh, this tuner. is a tuner they've been wanting me to uh, check out as well. Uh, this is the MFJ949E Deluxe Versa Tuner 2. It's manual, it's a manual tuner. And uh, I have been using it here uh, in order to run that uh, that uh, multiband antenna out there on the stand off of my IC7300. And so uh, have it tuned up. And this is on the uh, yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, 17 know, meter I band. Used to be a Republican. I think I, I and so George H. W. good audio, uh, <laughs> easy to understand. Uh, I'm going to try to uh, to uh, get a hold of one of these guys here in a minute on 17 meters, see how it goes. So there you have it, the MFJ 2389. Uh, you heard it on multiple different bands. You heard it on multiple different uh, uh, operating modes, both FM, uh, single sideband, and uh, single sideband on the uh, VHF as well. And so, again, uh, having a good time out here. This is K0FYR. Uh, again, appreciate all of the help from MFJ. And uh, I'm going to say 73.